Hello, fellow listeners, uh, the six of you that exist. At the time of recording this, this, there are about 26 days left until Christmas, so we'll see when this actually gets posted. Uh, today we are opening the Tokyo Treat Box December 2021 edition. I have guest star Steve Radzinski with me. Hi. Director, writer, actor, film producer, everything, Steve Radzinski. And I brought him on the show because the theme of the month is Christmas Crunch. And who better to taste Christmas things than the Lord of Christmas himself? That's me. Uh, I don't know anyone that loves Christmas as much as I do. And whenever anyone tries to claim they do, they don't even come close. How many trees do you have, folks at home? I have seven. Seven? Tell us a little bit about your seven trees. Well, one is the Halloween tree, which you can clearly see in the background of the past few months. It goes up in September. There's also an ocean tree in the dining room. Uh, in the living room, there is the live tree. Uh, and across from that is a small three-foot burb tree. Burbs! There is a Santa Claus tree on the front porch. There is a blue and silver tree in the basement, and there is a red and green tree on the back porch. How classic. If you could add an eighth tree, what would you want to add? Cats. Oh, a cat tree would be phenomenal. Alright, you ready to snack? Yes. Okay. First item in the box, I'll pick, then you pick. We've got the Caldi potato chips. These are chocolate-covered luxury potato chips. We did have these items last year in the December box. Would you like to sample them now, though? Sure. I always love these Caldi brand chips. You got first dibs. Now, I like to point out that the package always makes them look so neatly drizzled in lines. And on one side, they usually are, but then the other side is often a hot mess. The only thing I wish about these is that they were a little saltier. Mm. I think it works without salt. But the potato and chocolate go really well together. Alright, you grab something. While uh, Steve is choosing, I'll remind you this is the deluxe subscription or premium subscription box, meaning we're going to see a drink today, a shareable snack, and some other extra items. Steve, what you holding there? It's a, I don't know, Santa Claus is on it. I love it. It's a, called a Christmas Fugashi. Fugashi is a brown sugar snack. It's kind of uh, puffy, like a Cheeto, but sweet. So, feel free. Uh, it looks like a candy bar. A little uh, bit. But it is very hollow and light. Yeah, the texture is a little more like styrofoam, but it's flavored very nicely. Yes, yeah, so this is exactly what it is. Flavored styrofoam. I will admit the outside coating always tastes so much better than the inside. Well, that's the point. I think the inside doesn't really taste like anything, and the outside is where all the brown sugar was burnt or melted or however they do it. Yeah, I mean, it has the texture of, like, seaweed, except it's sugar, so... Very and it's cool. delicious, but it's just sugar. I do so love the Christmas wrapper. You can see Santa and all his, like, friends, maybe, if the glare wasn't directly on him. Okay, I'm going to grab my favorite looking snack because uh, my boy Bulbasaur is on the front. We have some more Pokemon Choco snack. This time, instead of Halloween characters, we have some cute little Christmas snowball fight Pokemon. I am not going to sample these on screen right now because I want to save them for freshness. Oh, and so they taste like Cocoa Puffs. They do. They taste like Cocoa Puffs. We've had them in several boxes. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to savor that. Savor the flavor. You're up. Oh, jeez. Okay. You have the Pandaro Melon Cookie. Okay. This is all you because I'm not a fan of melon. This is shattered. So if this was a cookie. Oh. Yes, last month's was shattered. Last time I got one, it was shattered as well. I don't know. They just don't ship well. It probably used to look like a panda. I mean, if you like lime flavoring, this is lime flavoring on a very light butter cookie. So I like it, because I like lime fla flavoring. It's not melon? I meant to say melon. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, did they switch it on me? No, you're good, you're good. Uh, I'm going to pick out the Tohado um, Caramel Corn, because every time I get one of these in the package, they're really good. I love the texture of these, because they're like, um, if you took a Cheeto, but then like glazed the outside of it. And the last flavor I think we had were those lemon ones that were really sour, and I actually enjoyed them even when they were stale. 
Uh, this particular flavor is white milk, so I wasn't too keen on that, but um, let's give it a try. Just smells like cheese to me. It says Christmas caramel corn, but how can it be white milk and caramel corn? That is delightful. Very lightly sweet. Just taste of sweet, specifically. It is interesting that it smells like popcorn. Mm -hmm. And yet... It's not cheesy, though. Or buttery. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're right. Just a light, sweet yeah. taste. I like that. Refreshing. Not much else to report. So far, we have a lot of sweet snacks and not a lot of savory. So let's see if we can find. Well, it's Christmas. Some... It's Christmas time. Time for sweets and candies. And Wake up, things. everyone! It's Christmas. <laughs> okay, this nope, is. Oh, that's the drink. Yeah, that's no. gonna go in the fridge. But the drink of the month for the deluxe subscription is a Kelpie's Strawberries and Cream. This is a lactic-based beverage filled with sweet and sour strawberry and creamy condensed milk flavor. Per 100 milliliters, it only has 22 calories. How many milliliters is this? Good question. 500. So, yeah. Okay, let's have a sip. Pretty sure it's a milk so Okay, I thought it was a milk soda, so I was like, it's going to explode. I think I have a grape one still in the fridge I haven't tried yet. It's, it reminds me of one of those good cream-based strawberry medicines. Um, I was thinking about Lifesavers used to make those cream Berries savers. And cream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, except liquid form. That would be nice cold. I'm definitely going to put that in the fridge for yeah, a bit. Put it in the fridge. But yeah. Okay. Uh, for savory, to balance things out a little bit, I'm going to show a repeat item. This is Sankaku Vegetable Crackers. They're tiny little triangles with vegetable flavor. I absolutely love them with spreadable cheese, like goat cheese or really any kind of cheese. So those are going to, those are going to wait for cheese time. Sorry, you don't get any. Cool. I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> you can pick something else though. Literally, I, I don't mind if we eat literally anything else in this box. Just that and the can. Oh, okay. What do you think Chai those beans? are? Chai um, beans? I mean, they're puffed Cheeto-like snacks covered with, I'm going to assume, mm, peas? They are a puff snack based on edamame. So okay. you're very close. Uh, they're not actual literal edamame, but it says they are inspired by edamame. So I know we like to eat that. Ooh, I like the, the long pod texture. I got a short pod. That is not Cheeto texture. It is beany though. Like there's no cheese. I thought like no cheese flavor. It's mm. definitely bean. Yep. I'd say less of an adamame and more like a green bean kind of mm -hmm. taste. They're very similar plants. That's nice. I'm pretty though. sure these are green beans, except flavored to be like edamame. I think these are like dried green beans. I don't think so. Or at the very least, they're shaped like green beans. Yeah, but the texture, I don't know. The texture looks like a baked good. I don't know if we can zoom in there. I mean, you might be right, and I'm just crazy. And they fooled me. They got one on me. <laughs> they're pretty good. That's a good snack. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, whatever this long thing is. It looks like an Umaibo, but like a thick one. Different company. This is a premium item. It is a premium Umaibo, I was right. It is mozzarella and camembert cheese. Camembert being the favorite cheese of Plog, the black cat from Miraculous. Oh. It's also a French cheese. Um, the picture reminds me of just like, um, it's the tomato mozzarella basil combo. What is that called? Not Caprice. I don't know. No, something like that. You want to try? I don't know what time it is. Camembert is usually a little bit smelly. That's an interesting smell. 
I like the flavor though. It smells fine to me. I don't know. Like I smell nothing. It's a out strong of the smell. Like this smells like I opened up a a basket of those cheese balls. That's what it smells like. That's a different overall cheesy flavor than the orange cheese balls. Yes, but that's basically what this is. Yeah. Let's put the rest over there. Do you like cheese balls or cheese dick? That's going to decide which one of these you prefer. Yeah. Okay. Your grab. Mm. Honestly, this has been a pretty good box so far. It's oh. Cute. Those are taro, I can tell you that. What kind are they, though? Oh, those are the Aji cheese ones. We've had these before. You like them. I like them. Let's eat them. They're just little crunchy cheese. They're like the texture of pork rinds, but cheesy. I don't even know the texture of pork rinds. Well, as compared to the cheese puffs, I don't know what else to compare these to. They're not quite crackers. But they're not quite... Puffs You're right either. about that. Yeah, it's like a savory cheesy... And it's unlike usual artificial cheese flavor. Yeah, I always find these to be like a really light flavor. Hmm. All right. The end. We're going back to Sweetsville with what looks to be like a stroop waffle. Let's see what their version. It's Choco Waffle Coon. That's literally the name of it. <laughs> It's a mini chocolate coated waffle, and there's Waffle Coon being like. <laughs> How am I not supposed to make stereotypical jokes when it's completely fulfilling that purpose? Goddamn weed. <laughs> one side waffle, one side chocolate coated waffle. I like a rock. I think you're supposed to melt that over your coffee. Oh, too good. It is really hard. Mm. That's a good crunch. Too much. Okay, that was finishing. I felt that reverberate on all of my teeth. It's got some kind of weird like chemically over flavored to the I think they went to try to make it maple flavored chocolate. I'm not getting any maple. I don't know what you're tasting. I'm getting a weird overtaste that doesn't belong in chocolate. I just got very basic chocolate flavor on a you know like very lightly sweet waffle ish crunchy snack. I liked that. That's fine. Fifty fifty split. All right, the next item, this is new Mochitero Christmas edition. It's just a limited edition Christmas pack of a Mochitero, which we've had before. It's a light, crunchy snack, kind of crackery in flavor. Um, yeah. Oh, yes, the texture, I remember. The texture is very similar to uh, Captain Crunch. They look like little churro pieces. Same flavor as always, just fancy packaging. Is this egg based? I don't know. Might because it kind of smells like. It doesn't say. It's mochi based. Yeah, I don't know. It's good though. It's good. Good crunch. All right, let's see. We got uh, some some sweets here. All right, the the pocky flavor of the month, which seems to be like recently we've been getting a box of pocky almost every month. It ain't is... chocolate mint, so I don't give a damn. Your chocolate mint was the best one. Bring back Choco Mint Pocky, please. Okay, Pocky Winter Caramel. It is a buttery pretzel with salted caramel coating. Okay. Even though the box says chocolate, it is not chocolate. That is weird. Mm hmm There you go. One for you. One for me. Cheers. Slancha. Mm. Definitely caramely. That's a really rich caramel. It's 
steak is buttery. Have that by itself just there at the end. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you like the flavor of car caramel, this is straight up caramel flavor. Yeah. Nothing like, fancy. Like there's nothing yeah. else to say. A little salty. I got a little bit of salt from the stick. Nothing. I wish I would have put some grains of the salt on the outside of the caramel because you only really taste it when you get down to the bare stick at the bottom. But still very nice. Okay, we got a few items left. Here we have a umaibo. Yep, that is an umaibo. Doesn't say what flavor. Oh, Christmas umaibo chocolate. Oh, hell yeah, brother. That's chocolate covered umaibo. <laughs> so the chocolate on the outside of the texture actually really works. I wasn't expecting the inside to taste like burnt marshmallow. Oh, really? It's like a That's not even a negative criticism. I just wasn't expecting that. It's just probably like the sugar inside that they used. You're a fan? I like, this is the most sampling I've done in any given box in one sitting, but like all of the items in this box are so good. <laughs> It's okay. definitely the best Tokyo Treat box you've opened today. I can guarantee Seriously, it. today, yeah. All right, we've got Coco Bolo, which are tiny Cocoa Pebble style little snacks. We've had this before. Would you like to sample? Sure. Because I think I recall this specific chocolate flavor was like way more intense than like the Pokemon ones, which are straight mm. up Cocoa Puffs, because I think these are yeah, meant to balance good. with like literally coffee. Yeah, those ones are a little more like, uh, the Pokemon ones are a little more cereal-like. You taste like the wheat or the corn in the middle. Yeah, this reminds me of like an older, way more chocolatey breakfast cereal, but I can't remember which one. Not Cocoa Puffs. Or Cocoa something Krispies? Else. No. With the monkey on them? Cocoa Krispies didn't have a monkey on Guess them. Yes, they did. They were the same guys from Rice Krispies on them. And then what was the one that had the little orange monkey character from Kellogg's? I think you're right that that's the cereal I'm thinking monkey. of, but that wasn't Cocoa Krispies. Okay, well that's Cocoa what Krispies I'm thinking Cocoa Krispies are chocolate rice Krispies. I'm picturing the little orange monkey in his little t-shirt and like I think a baseball cap. But maybe I was wrong with the Cocoa Krispies. All Only right. on that part. Do you want to go uh, Kit Kats or other sweet treat? I'm going to save the Kit Kats for last. Okay, so this is called Cola Foam. It's a sweet and fizzy cola rumune candy that will foam, foam oh candy candy it will foam up and melt in your mouth. Not mm. a fan of cola flavored things, so I'm gonna let you take this it one. Kind of smells like cola, but I'm very concerned. It's like bottle caps. Uh, Is it fizzy? I don't think it's really fizzing, but it definitely tastes like a cola. It tastes like a cheap, great value cola. Not a fan. I'm trying to not do anything to see if it's fizzing and I'm not just like yeah. sucking too hard. That's one of my problems. I just suck too hard. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to chew it now. Oh, see if I want my food to do something mm. in my mouth. Inside. Oh, I can smell the cola on that your breath. That makes more sense now. I can smell it over here. I mean, that was neat. It was definitely, if you like the taste of cheap cola and want to chew it instead of drink it, that's the candy <laughs> for you. It wasn't bad. I'll have the other two because there's only three of them. Yeah, you can have them. All right. Last but not least, we have our monthly Kit Kat flavor, uh, which is milk tea. Let's have a tea party. Uh, what it's describing it as is cream-filled wafers wrapped in milk tea flavored chocolate. I guess winter is the time for tea. It is cold. Now, it's really hard to keep track of our Oh, the list is so huge now. But there's... now. I'm, I'm going to have I'm to lucky. post an update. Oh, yeah, lucky. I don't know what that means. means do, we, are we, do we win something? Yeah. Yep, smells like a uh, straight rotten milk. I don't like it. I definitely. It doesn't actually smell like rotten milk. No. I'm just gonna put that back in the wrapper now. 
For some context, I only like some tea. I don't like iced tea. And if it's hot tea, I only like it if it's like very berry infused or caramely. But straight up like black tea like that, I don't like. So that was gross. Um, I love tea. I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of tea straight, cold, hot, you name it, all kinds of teas. Um, I have had milk in tea before. I usually just like drinking my tea straight. Um, I don't think this tastes like tea. I do. I don't think this tastes like milk tea. I think this tastes really weird. And I don't like it. I do not like it. It's very creamy. I'll say there's a cream taste. Okay. Milk tea. Champagne and strawberries. I ate this without gagging. So, like, it's That's not... That's true. I, yeah. See, I don't know. Champagne and strawberries was disgusting. This I just don't like. Champagne and strawberries was bad, but it didn't make my mouth do this. You so. see, champagne and strawberries made me almost just gag it out. Whereas milk tea is just milk tea. I think bottom... Sounds good as milk steak. <laughs> milk they need, steak, They yeah. need milk steak Kit Kats next. You need next. to prepare it properly. Well, uh, before I go, Steve, anything you want to plug? Well, let me talk to your six viewers. Uh, well, five, because I'm on it, so I won't be watching it. Um, yeah, if you uh, think I'm handsome, just head over to silverspotlightfilms.com, stevebuster.com for digital options for my movies, uh, buy my movies, and I'm on Instagram, at darkmullet, if you want to thirst over me. I love it. I love it. You can check me out at Instagram, at, at Aline Isley, or you can hit up my OnlyFans at gills, period, and period thrills. I'll put the links in the bottom text down here. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful holiday.